So you could be like Bob the Builder in this bitch and just really- I've heard about Paralives, but I haven't really delved, delve? I haven't really did enough research to really know everything about it. So, so today I'm just gonna do my reaction to Maggie and Maggie's Law. I've been seeing different videos of other people reacting to them, but I didn't like watch them because I wanna like film my reaction first. So this is like literally the first time I'm seeing any of this. So here we go. Like make fun of me, I've been living under a rock or I've been living in my room. Make fun of me that I'm so late in the game. From my understanding, it's just like a new life simulation game. I feel like The Sims has never really had like big competition, you know? It's always been kind of like a monopoly with The Sims where it's just them. Let me just read up on it and see what I can gather. You live and then you die. But at least you do it in a nice house. God is life, I guess. Is it gonna be free? Okay, I don't think it's gonna be free. It's an up-and-coming simulation indie game. Should we look at this press kit? Hair Lives is an upcoming dollhouse life simulation indie game for PC and Mac. In Hair Lives, you're free to build homes, create characters, and manage their lives inside their homes and all around an open world. The game features innovative build tools that are easy to use but powerful for advanced builders. The simulation mode allows players to explore city full of events, full of events, people to meet, and ways to make their pair folks evolve and live a happy life. So from what I gather, I feel like it's just a lot more customizable. There's like more focused on the build features as opposed to Sims where it's just like the actual gameplay is kind of equal, you know, to the actual like building part. Create the best life for your pair folks. Couldn't be possible without enjoying what the town has to offer beyond the walls of your houses. That's why Hair Lives lets you explore cozy open. Okay, so it's open world. Filled with shops, parks, workplaces, and other interesting spots to discover and meet people. The name Paralives is a reference to parallel lives, allowing players to live different virtual lives and build homes to stage them. Studio description. Paralive Studio is a new indie company founded by video game industry veteran Alex Mace. Macy. The studio's only focus is to build an innovative and fresh life simulation game. The company currently has four employees and is quickly growing thanks to the support of Patreon. Okay, so it's like Patreon funded, I'm guessing. It's really cool. Screenshots. So this is Maggie, I presume. Oh my god, I love the graphics. It kind of reminds me if you guys have seen that show, um, Death, Love, and Robots. Like some of the episodes, like the way they animate things. Okay, so here, I'm gonna watch like all the trailers and kind of react to it. So I guess the first one is Meet Maggie. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. <laughs> she cute or whatever. <gasps> oh my god. We love you love height sliders. Cute with the Doc Martens, yes. And she got some shoulders. Come on, Lululemon Athletica. <laughs> yes. She goes to Soul Cycle. She thick. <laughs> she got titties. Okay, she got like H's. <laughs> Butt shots. Amazing, so it's very like customizable as far as like the body features. The graphics are very different to Sims. Nice, we love a color wheel. Like Sims 3. What else you got? I think it's just like a totally different vibe, which I really like. It's still like a 3D game, but Sims 4 graphics are, you know, very... I'd almost compare it to kind of like GTA, how it's like super just like three-dimensional, whereas this almost looks kind of like... What's that one game? Um, Life is Strange, it kind of reminds me of, you know? Very cool. Look at that, what's next? Maggie's Law. Yes, telescope, aww. Super cool, I love the vibes already. I feel like I'd see this like at an IKEA showcase, you know, in one of the rooms. When I want that chair. I want this apartment. Very calm and serene, you know. 
Maggie's just like a chill bitch. Love it. What is next? Resize, stack, and flip objects. Wow. Yes. So you could be like Bob the Builder in this bitch and just really customize your furniture. No limits. Oh wow, it's like, I think my, what is it, Ikea has something like that. And you can make it taller. <gasps> yes. Ooh, oh my god, this is like a builder's dream. Like, if you love building, I love building. I haven't posted any building videos, but I want you to have a little setup. <gasps> I could plan my setup, like, you know manifest my dream setup on Paralives. So cute. She likes the plants. I could see. What else can you do? I want to see more. I want to play it already. I want to play. Okay. So this is a color wheel for clothes and accessories. We kind of saw a little bit of that when they were building Maggie and creating a pair of folk. Wow. I wish I could... I wish we had a color wheel in real life. That'd be so nice. <laughs> Super cute. So this is like really customizable. Even like the texture, even the pattern texture. I like it. Creating and editing lots. Let's see. Okay. So it's like more specific in terms of like how much land costs. So like kind of more similar to real life. Curved walls and split level. So you can make like a cylinder house, like a circle. Circly walls. Oh, okay. You can do, do diagonal. Diagonal walls. Whoa, I was looking at that grass and it was like so trippy. <laughs> okay, what else should I watch? The cemetery? I feel like the rest I can kind of, you know, I could guess what's gonna happen. It's just like showing me how it's resizing, but let me see the cemetery. And so Alex, that guy, is the creator. <laughs> oh. I'm guessing this is like the whole team. Very cool. I don't know if I'm like late to the game, but there's no like proper funerals or cemeteries. No mods for that in Sims, is there? So that is my reaction. I really like the whole vibe and aesthetic that Pair Lives has. So I'm really excited to get my hands on this game. I can't wait to really be able to customize my prayer folk and just like, you know, play with their height, weight, and make it more realistic to real life gameplay, as real as a simulation game can get. So I think it's really cool that we have all those cool features. From what I read, it's an open world. So I'm really excited to see how they're gonna execute that and like what types of freedom we have just wanted to say thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos and if you guys like this type of content reaction videos 
please let me know down in the comments below. I am a small YouTuber, so any engagement helps. I post Sims content every Saturday. On Wednesdays, I post more lifestyle and beauty type of content. So if you guys are into that, I highly recommend that you guys subscribe to my channel and join this family because I just hit my goal of 100 subscribers this month. I started my channel about a year ago and it's really cool just to have 100 people vibing with me because that's like all I ever wanted for this channel is just to make friends. Quarantine, I can't really see anybody, but you know, we're so blessed to be able to go through this. I feel like it'd be really hard to go through quarantine when we didn't have the internet or didn't have games or just like the technology that we have today. So I'm really thankful for that and I'm thankful for you guys for watching my videos and until next time, bye!